Angelos TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. And now to Rev. Michael Sass. Praise the Lord. We continue with the benefits of the masses of God. If you gain the revelation, if you connect into the masses of God, what are the benefits? We read yesterday in Psalm 103, 103 and verse 3, that who forgives your sins, all your sins, and heals all your diseases. In the mercies of God, our sins are forgiven. Not some of our sins, but all of our sins. And in His mercies, we are healed. Not from some diseases and sicknesses and infirmities, but from all sicknesses, diseases and infirmities. We are healed from all of them. By His stripes, we are healed. And it, He received those stripes upon Himself because He was merciful to us. Today, I want us to look at verse 4 of the same psalm. It says, Who redeems us and crowns us. So God redeems us. Redeems us from the danger, from the enslavement, from the bondage. He delivers us. He rescues us from the creep of the devil, from the danger that we are in. He redeems us. He redeems us by his blood. The reason why Jesus died on the cross to redeem us was because of his compassion. It was because of his mercy. None of us was righteous. On the contrary, all of us like sheep had fallen short of his glory and like sheep we had gone astray and fallen short of his glory. He died, the righteous God, died for the unrighteous. How can the righteous die for the unrighteous? Because the righteous is controlled by the mercy. And God's mercy compelled him, caused him to send Jesus Christ the Lord to die on the cross for us. And when he died on the cross for us, he saved us. And he has made us his children. It all happened because of his mercies. So we are, according to this verse, redeemed and crowned with goodness. So favor, there is a garland of glory on our lives. There is that glow of God on our faces. We may not be seeing it ourselves, but the glow of God is on us. The honor of God is on us. You know, sometimes, friends, I look at where I come from. I look at my background. And humanly speaking, I don't know why I am where I am today. I don't know how I am where I am today. I am where I am today in ministry, in influence, and to the, I mean, influence to the society. Not, not because of me. It is all because of the mercies of God. I'm telling you, when I went to school, both in primary, high school and college, I had people who were smarter than me. People that I thought had more capabilities than myself. But by the mercies of God, he chose me to be doing what I'm doing today. I am what, nothing in my life happens because I'm smarter. Nothing. Everything that happens in my life, I ascribe it and I owe it unto the Lord. It is unto the mercies of God that I am who I am today. I pray that today the Lord redeems you and that you enjoy the benefits of redemption. And I also pray that you experience the crowning that is of the Lord. That the Lord crowns you and gives you favor before him and before mankind. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor because of your faithfulness. At this moment, Lord, I just want to declare your blessing, your mercy, and your favor upon our lives, Lord, as we serve and minister to you. Let your anointing always go with us. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. This broadcast was brought to you by Angelos TV. To continue enjoying this spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video. Thank you and see you in our next broadcast.